welcome everybody to our first and hopefully last virtual senior reception. We know this year has been a challenge as we exited school around the middle of March, not knowing what the future would bring. And then the first of April, we got the news that we wouldn't be back in school. Obviously, it's not the way any of you seniors wanted to finish this school year, but we are so proud of your resilience, your ability to adapt and overcome. And tonight, we're gonna honor you seniors in our first virtual senior reception, and then for all your hard work for your years in, here at Union City. So having said that, let's get started. And our first up is our National Honor Society, who are receiving their cords tonight. These students, we have 13 of them this year, exhibit outstanding leadership, scholarship, and services to our school and our community, and have earned the right to wear these gold tassels at graduation. The Union City Chapter of Rotary International purchases a gold tassel for each National Honor Society member. The Class of 2020 National Honor Society members are as follows. Tony Payne Abel, Emily O'Connor, Grace Collins, Katie Reichard, Evie Downey, Brighton Stewart, Mackenzie Green, Derek Williams, Michaela Green, Braxton Wright, Heidi Livingston, Morgan Weimer, and Maya Malloy. And at this time, we'll introduce Miss Becky Keel, who will have a short video presentation that she has pre-recorded. It is my honor to award this evening to two ladies in the senior class the Emerging Leader Honor Award from National DECA. This award recognizes students who are studying marketing, finance, hospitality, and management, and for being academically prepared, community-oriented, professionally responsible, and experienced leader through their participation in DECA. The award recipient must be a DECA member in his or her senior year of high school with a cumulative GPA of 3.2 or higher. This year's recipients who are receiving a certificate and an honor cord to wear at graduation are Heidi Livingston and Morgan Weimer. Congratulations, ladies. The Union City DECA chapter holds two blood drives every year sponsored by the Community uh, Blood Center. This year, the following seniors are being honored for giving blood three or more times during their high school career. They will receive a red cord and a certificate the red cord they will wear at graduation. The winners are Kaylee Atkins, Mackenzie Charles, Evie Downey, Grace Fleming, Gabe Fulton, Shelby Gates, Alan Gonzalez, Sierra Haxton, Maya Malloy, Stetson Nicholson, Shadaisy Smith, and Derek Williams. We thank you for giving blood three or more times during your high school career, and we hope that you will continue to give throughout your life. Remember, one pint of blood can save up to three lives. It is now my honor and privilege to award the Academic Honor Jacket Chevrons. It's one of our top scholastic honors a student can earn at Union City Junior Senior School. It is an academic honors jacket. To qualify for an academic honor jacket, a student must earn all A's for two consecutive years. Every semester after that, if they continue to have all A's, they will receive an additional Chevron for their jacket. This year's program is sponsored by our local bank, Citizen State Bank, First Financial Bank, and First Merchants Bank. We appreciate their round and year-round support of this program. Otherwise, we would not be able to offer this to our students, so we highly appreciate that. Tonight, we have four seniors earning this additional Chevron. Heidi Livingston, Katie Reichert, Derek Williams, and Morgan Weimer. So we congratulate those young men and women. It is now indeed my honor and privilege to introduce our valedictorian and salutatorian for the class of 2020. This year's salutatorian is Miss Katie Reichard, and this year's valedictorian is Mr. Derek Williams. Congratulations, Katie and Derek, on your accomplishment. Now we're going to award our 11 seniors who have earned academic honors diplomas. These seniors earned at least 47 credits in a specific academic challenging classes and have maintained at least a 3.0 GPA with no semester grade lower than 73. We are happy to announce that the Union City Lions Club has purchased these academic honors medallions to be worn at graduation. 
The following students have earned and receiving their honors diplomas. Grace Collins, Katie Reichert, Evie Downey, Brighton Stewart, Mackenzie Green, Derek Williams, Heidi Livingston, Braxton Wright, Maya Malloy, Morgan Weimer, and Emily O'Connor. In addition to that, this year we will offer one senior a technical honors diploma. A technical, technical honors diploma, this student has also earned 47 credits in specific academic classes and maintained a 3.0 with no grade lower than 73%. He has also met the requirements for the state approved college and career pathways. The Union City Lions Club has also purchased him a technical honors diploma medallion to be wear, worn at graduation. This year, we are pleased to award this to Jacob Connor. At this time, we will move on to our several college and community agencies that provide scholarships to our students and for the class of 2020. First up, we'll introduce Maggie Furr, and she will be followed by Brad Hoggett and they have short video clips that they have prepared ahead of time for this year. Hello, my name is Maggie Furr and I'm an Assistant Director of Admissions at Indiana University East. IU East is so glad to be able to offer scholarships to several students um, every year. And I do want to reiterate that um, some of these students may have made other plans, but I do wanna share what they have been nominated for and recognize their academic excellence. Our Chancellor Scholarships are tiered based on academic performance in the classroom and on college entrance exams. And so I am honored to award the Chancellor's Level 4 Scholarship worth $2,000 over four years to Caitlin Davis and Maya Malloy. Each fall, IU East invites guidance counselors in the area to attend a special event on campus. The guidance counselors in attendance receive a set of scholarships that they can award to their students who meet the academic requirements. In addition, the next recipient I would like to recognize was invited to and attended Scholarship Day. And during our Scholarship Day event, students have the opportunity to interview with a faculty member for the chance of increasing their academic award. And so I am pleased to award the High School Counselor Select Scholarship and a Red Wolf Scholarship worth a combined total of $9,000 over four years to Paula Galagos. And finally, I am pleased to award the Pursuit of Excellence Award uh, worth $16,000 over four years to Evelyn Downey and Morgan Weimer. To the entire class of 2020, congratulations. We at IU East are so especially proud of this year's graduating class. There have been many challenges and many disappointments this year, and you have faced them all with grace. We're very proud of the class of 2020. Hey, I wanted to uh, share with you on behalf of Wesley United Methodist Church, um, that uh, as the chairman of our church council, how proud we are of each and every one of you. Uh, congratulations on your graduation. And uh, we know and look forward to seeing what wonderful things uh, you all uh, are able to accomplish um, in your future years. Uh, at Wesley, we celebrate our um, our students and uh, we are very pleased uh, to celebrate with a very fine upstanding uh, faith-based young lady and on behalf of Wesley it is my pleasure to announce and share that uh, we will be gifting a $500 scholarship a one-time $500 scholarship to Miss Michaela Green so Michaela congratulations um, best wishes to you. Uh, we know you'll do great things and continue to lead the Christ-based life that you have led and be that example that uh, so many people in our world need today. So congratulations, Michaela, and con congratulations to the class of 2020. Greetings. My name is Joyce Hoosman, and I am the scholarship chairman for the Community Foundation of Randolph County. And we want to congratulate all of this year's seniors for graduating from high school. Um, the class of 2020 is going to have some unique memories 
Um, this has been an unusual year for sure, and I'm sure there are some regrets that the end of your senior year was more about isolation than celebration. So um, we want you to know that our hearts go out to you and we are so impressed with your resilience and your flexibility in all of these difficult times. So um, we're just really proud of you and want you to know this is a class we will never forget. Um, the Community Foundation has several scholarships to be awarded to this year's seniors. Um, we are so appreciative of the people and the organizations have who, who have established these scholarships. Um, a lot of times they were created in memory of someone or to honor someone or something. And we, the Community Foundation loves to do that. But more importantly, these scholarships represent um, the, the support and the encouragement that we want to convey to the seniors, that we want to support you in your future endeavors. You are the future of Randolph County. And uh, just so you know how our scholarships work, um, each student who receives one uh, from us will re receive a certificate and a letter uh, explaining how to claim your scholarship. Be sure to read that letter carefully. Um, there, is, there are some forms that must be returned or you must contact our office by July 1st. There's a deadline. And if you don't contact us by that date, the scholarship can be awarded then to an alternate person. So make sure you get in touch with us. And just so you know, and this is true, always true of our scholarships, um, as, but especially in this confusing year, our scholarships can be deferred for up to a year. So if you find out you're not gonna go to school right away, contact us by that deadline and let us know and we can save that scholarship money for you. So that's another option that you have. Um, these scholarships just re represent one of the many ways that we fulfill our mission of uh, bringing resources and uh, people together in Randolph County. And so on behalf of the uh, entire board of the Community Foundation and the staff, we wanna say congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2020. Hi there. First, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020 on this amazing accomplishment. I know that this doesn't look the way that you had planned or feel maybe the way that you had planned, but surviving this pandemic and living through it is going to make you stronger and more adaptable to change in the future. So congratulations to the entire class of 2020. I'm here to present the Lady Indians Larry Wilson Memorial Scholarship. This is a scholarship that is awarded to an individual or individuals who are part of the Lady Indian basketball program. And it has recently been named after Larry Wilson, who was a statistician for many decades for the Lady Indian basketball program. This year, I was blessed to have four young ladies who were a part of uh, the program and they have made a tremendous impact in this program at this school. They are the last group that was a part of the state tournament run for the Lady Indians, the basketball state tournament run, and uh, they, are, they were freshmen during that time. So they've put a lot of in, into this program, they've dedicated, dedicated a lot to this program, and have made a huge impact, and will continue to have that impact in the future. So it is without further ado that I would like to award the Lady Indian Larry Wilson Memorial Scholarship to four young ladies. They are Lucy Corona, Maddie Cox, Mackenzie Green, and Shadaisy Smith. Congratulations, ladies, and congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Hi, uh, on behalf of the National Honor Society, it is my pleasure to announce uh, our two scholarship recipients, uh, the senior National Honor Society member, 
scholarship in the amount of $400 will be going to Miss Grace Collins. Congratulations, Grace. And the Make a Difference Scholarship, which was open to any senior at UC JSHS, um, in the amount of $300 is going to Miss Heidi Livingston. So congratulations, ladies. Um, you will be receiving the information needed to um, get those taken care of. I will have signed off on that money and it'll be good. It's just, it's nearly yours. It's nearly yours. You just got to make sure you uh, continue to jump through those hoops that you need to jump through. Congratulations to all of you, uh, class of 2020. Uh, we know at Randolph Eastern that you are uh, fantastically driven young men and young women who will absolutely do great things. And we look forward to seeing um, those accomplishments and um, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Hoggett. Now it is my privilege to fill in for the athletic boosters who are happily awarding five $400 scholarship to the following seniors this year. Ashley Klein, Maya Malloy, Morgan Weimer, Emily O'Connor and Braxton Wright. Congratulations to those seniors receiving five $400 scholarships from our Athletic Boosters Club. Now it is my privilege to turn a presentation over to Miss Linda Puccini, who will be giving a short presentation on the Tony Puccini Memorial Scholarship. Hi, I'm Linda Puccini. I taught in Randolph Eastern Schools for 36 years and loved every minute of it. I taught at the elementary and junior senior high levels and that whole time teaching music. My husband was right there supporting me and supporting my students every chance he got. At concerts he would take pictures, he would hold babies, he would help with bow ties, with vests, with getting the props ready that we needed. And at Soul One Ensemble he would make sure that all my singers had enough water to drink, had food to eat, had a pat on the back, had their picture taken with their medals. Very supportive, very encouraging. This is Tony, a very kind man. When he passed away in 2014, I decided the best way to honor his memory would be to set up a scholarship in his name the Tony Puccini Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to students who have held a job during their high school career and kept their grades up at the same time, who have a good work ethic, who are well thought of by the community, their teachers, and their employers. The successful students also need to have done community service, which the recipients have. And so this year, I am pleased to announce that I'm able to give two $800 scholarships. The first $800 scholarship goes to Maya Malloy. And the second $800 scholarship goes to Paula Gallegos. Congratulations, ladies. It was a tough decision. All of the applicants were worthy of this honor, but I had to narrow it down to two. So Maya and Paula, best of luck to you in the future. Moving through our list of local, local scholarships this evening, Sigma Phi Gamma, uh, this is their 100 year celebration and they have a member who's actually been in that organization for, for the past 50 years. They are pleased and honored to give Morgan Weimer, senior here, a start in a college of her choice. Uh, the next local scholarship is through Jean Young. Uh, Jean Young um, was a bus driver around here for many years. Uh, she lost her husband in 2000 and they have given a scholarship ever since. Uh, to honor a boy or girl in need of help in, in a college of their choice. Um, Red Young was a good man and loved sports, according to Jean, and she is pleased to give the Norman Red Young Memorial Scholarship to David Bowers. So congratulations, David. 
Next on the list is the Randy Players. Uh, the scholarship for the Randy Players is awarded this year to Heidi Livingston for participation in school and community theater. Moving on to the Mark Welch Memorial Scholarship. This is awarded to an outstanding student in agriculture or in a related field who intends to pursue a bachelor's degree in college or an associate's degree or a degree from a vocational school. Uh, this student must be a member of FFA and have an active and have been an active member of, of the 4-H club. And this year, the Mark Welch Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Katie Reichard. On behalf of the Union City swim team, the Tiger Sharks, it is my pleasure to present or announce, I guess, because I have nothing here to give you. You can't get anything through this. Um, I'd like to announce that our two senior swimmers this year, Emily O'Connor and Isaiah Hampshire, will each be receiving $250. They have been on the swim team for 10 years. And that is one of the, I don't want to say prizes, but that's the prize uh, that each of our swimmers can earn uh, if they participate actively for 10 straight years. Um, upon their, that completion, then they will be presented this scholarship. So on behalf of the swim board, um, congratulations, Emily. Congratulations, Isaiah. Uh, we will get you the information that you need in order to get the funding from us, and we wish you the very best. Congratulations. This is the 28th scholarship given from the Union City FFA alumni, and this year's winner is Katie Reichard. In the 28 years I've been reading the applications for the FFA Alumni Scholarship along with the others on the committee, this is the best that they have ever read. In regards to Katie, good luck in the future and continue your high standards of life. Your hard work has earned you this $500 scholarship for, the, for many accomplishments of your years at the Union City Junior Senior High School and a member of the Union City FFA. Again, congratulations and God bless on behalf of Mark Klein, the FFA alumni representative. Again, congratulations to Katie Reichard and a special thank you to the Union City FFA alumni. Next, the New Lisbon Church, the New Lisbon Christian Church will be awarding a scholarship to Ashley Klein and Braxton Wright. Again, congratulations to Ashley and Braxton on behalf of the New Lisbon Christian Church. The next scholarship is the Spartansburg United Methodist Church. They will be awarding a scholarship in the amount of $200 to Maya Malloy. Again, congratulations to Maya Malloy and a special thank you to the Spartansburg United Methodist Church. Next, the VFW Auxiliary is honored to award four $300 scholarships to the following seniors. Grace Collins, Michaela Green, Matthew Hampshire, and Braxton Wright. Again, a special congratulations to Grace, Michaela, Matthew, and Braxton, and a special thank you to the VFW Auxiliary. Thank you. Uh, our next scholarship is in the name of a former student here, Elijah Hatton. He was a member of the class of 2018. Uh, just a wonderful, compassionate person, uh, and the family is honored to award this scholarship in his name um, in the amount of $2,000 this year to Matthew Hampshire. So congratulations, Matthew, and a special thank you to the Hatton family for, for putting this scholarship together and, uh, and obviously in loving memory of Elijah. Next, we have a class of 1983 video presentation that will be uh, presented by Wendy Smith. Take it away, Wendy. Hi, I'm Wendy Smith, and I'm here to announce the class of 1983 scholarships. I am proud to be a member of the Union City Community High School class of 1983. We had a great class and a lot of fun growing up together. This scholarship is given each year in memory of our classmates that are no longer here with us. I would like to take a moment now to remember Beth Quackenbush, Jerry Neergarter, Jerry Morrison, Lisa Dean, Tom Michael, Becky Wiest, Ryan Reichard, Laura Wolf, Sandy Carlson, Bill Wicker, and Kim Lambden. I can still picture each of them clearly in my mind, laughing in the hallways of the high school just like it was yesterday. I feel blessed to have known each of them 
and the rest of the class of 1983. The class of 1983 is happy to support the following students with a $500 scholarship to each of them. The first goes to Mackenzie Green, Braxton Wright, Paula Gallegos, Quinton Adkins, Michaela Green, Grace Fleming, Jaden Hinesley, and Payne Abel. Congratulations to each of them and to the class of 2020. We believe in you and we wish you all the best of luck. On behalf of the Alumni Association here at Union City, I'm happy to present the following $2,000 scholarships. Before I do that, I would like to give a special congratulations to the class of 2020 and welcome you to the fraternity we call the Union City Alumni Association. We hope that you continue to consider taking part in this association and look forward to you giving back in the future. Unfortunately, because of circumstances, we were unable to host our banquet this year and honor you the way that we would like, but we are still happy to recognize the following students with the Union City Alumni Scholarships. Scholarships recipients are Mackenzie Green, Heidi Livingston, Maya Malloy, Katie Reichert, and Morgan Weimer. And the recipient of the Gertrude Bailey Brady Memorial Scholarship goes to Emily O'Connor. At this time, I will turn it over to Mr. Merrill as he presents the John and Prudy Smith Broadcasting Award. Hello, my name is Brian Merrill and I am the instructor of the KISS program here at Union City Junior Senior High School. What a year it's been, at least uh, from March on. Interesting, um, we're all learning as we go, guys, and I think the administration has done uh, a outstanding job keeping you guys in their best interests as far as making sure all you kids, all you seniors, are getting the things you need during this time of, uh, during the historical time. My award, of course, is the John and Prudy Schmidt Broadcasting Award, the KISS Award. Of course, uh, John Schmidt, the pioneer of the KISS program way back in 1972. Mr. Schmidt also was the government teacher as well. So many of you folks of my generation and before uh, had Mr. Schmidt in both KISS and government. But him and his wife, Prudy, wanted to make sure that they wanted to provide an award for any of the KISS students that are in the program that intend to pursue communications or media as a career or look into making that a major when they're at their, their school of choice. So uh, John and I had had some discussion and we talked about uh, the candidates and one candidate uh, by and large, I explained to John uh, from beginning day one until all this started happening, he was always showing up. He was always doing that extra special stuff of what it takes to get things organized, especially in the sports department of KISS and all the sports that we do. So without further ado, I can't think of anybody else that's more deserving uh, with John and Prudy's blessing as well as this year's recipient of the John and Prudy Schmidt Broadcasting Award for the KISS program goes out to senior Payne Abel. Congratulations, Payne. Hello, I'm Tammy Browse and this is my brother, Greg Weitzel. And we're here to give the Virginia and Carl Keller Scholarship. Virginia and Carl Keller lived in Union City, Ohio. They were originally from Brookville, Indiana, and work brought them here to Union City. They loved children, but were never blessed with any. So they decided to let their money help young adults from Union City with further education. A scholarship has been set up at Missinawa Valley and Union City Junior Senior High School in their behalf. This year, the recipients will receive $500 per year for two years. They have their choice as to whether they want to go to a four-year college or a two-year or a trade school. That's up to them. We are proud to announce that this year, the scholarship will be going to two fine ladies that I saw start in kindergarten here at Union City. And I'm proud to say that Emily O'Connor and Morgan Weimer are the 2020 recipients of the Carl and Virginia Keller Scholarship. Congratulations, girls. 
Good luck. Good luck, Emily and Morgan. Hi everyone, my name is Shelly Wombo and I am coming to you from my backyard in Richmond and um, I'm here today to present the Missy Lee Scholarship. Um, Mrs. Lee was a math teacher at Union City when I first started, I believe 23 years ago. We became very fast friends. Um, she was a wonderful lady. She was um, also a basketball coach for the girls team and um, she lived in Portland with her young family and she had grown up in Portland. Her family still lives there. Um, she died one summer between school years from complications from a pretty serious surgery. Um, her death was unexpected and was a huge um, blow to us, um, all of us on the faculty at the high school. But her family has given the scholarship um, to Union City students every year since her death. The scholarship is designed to go to someone who is majoring in education and we try to pick someone who has great school spirit um, and is a great contributor to our school just like Mrs. Lee was. So it is my honor to grant this year's Missy Lee scholarship for $500 to Ashley Klein. Ashley, I know you're going to be a great elementary school teacher. We are so excited um, for you and so proud of you and I know that Mrs. Lee would love to see you um, go off to school and do a great job and be able to help you with some of those expenses. So I miss all of you. Congratulations seniors on a wonderful, wonderful um, high school experience. We've loved having you at Union City. We are very proud of you. You've been so courageous. You've been um, so smart. You've done such a nice job during high school and during this crazy time in life. So thank you for being fantastic representatives of the class of 2020 throughout the world. And um, we're very proud of you. So good luck and I hope I see you all very soon. Congratulations class of 2020. I am Mary Probasco and I'm joining you virtually this year as are many others to be part of your awards program. I am here to present a scholarship in memory of my husband, Steve Henshaw. Steve was a teacher and coach here at Union City High School from 1976 to 1992. Each year since his passing, faculty and students give input to me about a student who exemplifies Steve's spirit of being helpful, kind, and fair to others. The recipient this year exhibits these qualities, as well as being unselfish, caring, compassionate, and humble. Sports, music, and acting are just a few of the interests mentioned depicting the 2020 student chosen to receive the Steve Henshaw Humanitarian Award. I am proud to give $2,500 to Heidi Livingston. Congratulations, Heidi. Heidi plans to attend Indiana University Bloomington in the fall to be a part of the International Studies Program. In this unprecedented time in history of the world, we are faced with how we deal and continue to develop ourselves in times of great adversity. Thankfully, adversity is a characteristic of leadership. It is more important now than ever that the future of this graduating class be supported. Leadership and grace should be acknowledged and congratulated. This is why I'm honored to congratulate this year's 2020 Thomas E. Leahy Leadership Award to Mackenzie Green. Mackenzie's leadership is influential and full of grace. Again, congratulations to Mackenzie Green and a special thank you to the Thomas E. Leahy Leadership Scholarship. Our next scholarship is the Czech Mock Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating senior who is a member of SAD, Students Against Drunk Driving. It is with great pleasure to announce that this $500 scholarship has been awarded to Morgan Weimer. So again, congratulations to Morgan Weimer, the recipient of this year's Check Mock Memorial Scholarship. The class of 1970 is a scholarship that is awarded to a senior who demonstrates high morals and will be attending an Indiana college. This year, the class of 1970 would like to congratulate Jaden Hinesley on receiving this $1,000 scholarship. Jaden plans to attend IU East, 
to major in biology and then transfer to IUPUI to study dentistry. So congratulations to Jaden on a job well done. The Jean and Roberta Bennett Scholarship is being presented to a student wanting to further their education in either business or teacher education, as our parents believed in these dreams themselves and for their four daughters. Roberta taught kindergarten for 30 years here at Randolph Eastern Schools, and Jean started his insurance company, Standard Agencies, here in Union City. The daughters, Beth, Becky, Louise, and Carol, wanted to continue their wonderful legacy by offering this scholarship to a deserving student. They loved Union City and contributed in so many ways to the betterment of the community and are surely to be missed by all that knew them. This is one way that we can keep their commitment to excellence and help grow this community again by hopefully bringing some of the recipients back after college to help rebuild Union City. This year's scholarship in the amount of $5,000 is being awarded to Grace Collins, who is going to be attending IU East for early childhood education and we are extremely proud to be able to support her and her college endeavors. I've enclosed a picture of the family so you can get an idea of who is giving you the award chosen by the foundation. Sincerely, Becky Bennett. Next we have uh, the Jason Rickert Memorial video and that will be presented by Jenny Corbett. Hi, this is Jenny Corbett coming to you to present the Jason Rickert Memorial Scholarship. First off, I would like to say congratulations to all the graduates of 2020. You guys have uh, had an interesting and difficult road here the last couple months, but you made it. You did it, and uh, good luck in your future endeavors. Jason was my older brother. He graduated from Union City Community High School in 1993. Uh, he then went on to Purdue to fulfill his dream of going to college there. He majored in animal science, loved his time that he spent at Purdue. So after he passed away due to cancer, uh, we as a family decided to honor him by uh, awarding a scholarship to a local high school student to also fulfill their dream of going to Purdue. So the winner of the 2020 Jason Rickert Memorial Scholarship is Katie Reichard. It's my privilege to continue on our community scholarships tonight by offering the Randolph County Solid Waste Management District Award of $1,000 scholarship to a senior who demonstrates a commitment to serve and protect the environment. This year, the Environmental Education Scholarship is being awarded to Matthew Hampshire and Katie Reichert. They each will be getting the $1,000 scholarships. Congratulations, Matthew and Katie. Our next scholarship is the Kelly Stephen and Dave Furby Memorial Scholarship. When Kelly passed away in 2007, one of his best friends, Dave Furby, came to our family to ask if he and a group of Kelly's friends could start an annual golf outing to give scholarships to students from all five Randolph County schools. Of course, our family was touched that Kelly's friends would want to do that in his honor. The scholarship is also an endowed fund that the Community Foundation of Randolph County works with. This is the 13th year for this scholarship and two years ago after the death of our wonderful friend Dave Furby we changed the name to honor him as well. Unfortunately like so many other things this year the golf outing has been changed from its annual May time to September 27th. We invite you and your families who like to golf and want to participate this year to come out on the September 27th date. The criteria for the scholarship states it's to go to the student who gives their personal best, is an outgoing personality, is a friend of many, is involved in multiple school activities and community activities, and has financial need. It is our pleasure to award the scholarship this year to Morgan Weimer. The Stephen family and Furby families congratulate Morgan Weimer and give their best wishes for a successful college career. Congratulations, Morgan Weimer. The next scholarship is the Stephen Family Fund for Scholarships. My husband, Kelly Stephen, died from a deadly form of skin cancer in 2007. Before Kelly passed away, he asked that I set up a scholarship fund at the Community Foundation of Randolph County to give scholarships to students where he had worked. At the time of his death, Kelly was the principal at the Newcastle Middle School, and I was superintendent at the Randolph Eastern School Corporation. Our children graduated from Randolph Central, and he and I both worked there. 
His family had been a longtime supporters of the schools, and his grandfather had been a school bus driver. Each year, our family chooses to give back to these schools for the wonderful experiences we had as employees and for the great education that our children received. Here at the Randolph Eastern School Corporation, one of my passions was the AVID program, which Mrs. Wombo and many other staff members had worked very hard to develop here. It is our desire, as long as the program exists, the Stephen Family Fund Scholarship goes to an AVID student chosen by the Randolph Eastern School Corporation Scholarship Committee. I wish I could be there as usual to either give a hand, to give a hug, or a handshake. However, this year, feel, please feel free to feel the virtual hug and very best wishes for a successful college career. We are pleased to announce this year's award of the Stephen Family Fund Scholarship to David Bowers. So again, congratulations to David Bowers and a special thank you to the Stephen Family Fund Scholarship. The Della Rose Sickle Scholarship is awarded to a graduate of Union City Junior Senior High School for excellence in the written and spoken English language. It is our pleasure to announce on behalf of the Randolph County Community Foundation that this scholarship is being awarded to Paula Gallegos in the amount of $2,000. Congratulations, Paula. Moving on, the Adelsberger Family Endowment Scholarship is awarded annually by the Randolph County Community Foundation to a graduating senior. This year, the Community Foundation is pleased to announce that Mackenzie Green will be receiving this scholarship in the amount of $5,000. So congratulations to Mackenzie Green. Job well done. It is my privilege to continue on with our local and community scholarships tonight. Wix Pies recently celebrated their 75th anniversary in September. In honor of that, we would like to share a little background behind Wix Pies and the Dwayne E. and Ruby M. Wickersham Memorial Scholarship. Dwayne and Ruby Wickersham founded Wick Pies in 1944 when they realized there was a quality, shortage of quality pies to serve in Dwayne's restaurant. So they decided to start baking their own pies using many of Dwayne's grandmother's recipes. The pies were such a hit that Dwayne was delivering pies out of his 1934 Buick sedan. Their sugar cream pie was their best seller. And as such, they were worried about other bakers copying their pie recipe. So because of that, Dwayne sought and obtained the first U.S. patent for a pie in 1962. The sugar cream pie was declared the official state pie of Indiana in 2009. Wicks Pies is still owned and operated by the Wickersham family. The Dwayne E. and Ruby M. Wickersham Memorial Scholarship was established at the Randolph County Community Foundation in the honor to help them honor and celebrate graduating seniors who had an interest in pursuing careers in food, business, or tourism to help offset their college expenses. It is our honor to announce on behalf of the Community Foundation and the Wickershams that this year's scholarship in the amount of $1,500 is awarded to Heidi Livingston. Congratulations, Heidi, and thank you, Wickersham family, continuing to support our community and our seniors that go off into college. Next, the Walter L. Shaw Music Scholarship is awarded to a graduate of the Union City Junior Senior High School who displays proficiency in musical skills and abilities, displays character and good citizenship. On behalf of the Randolph County Community Foundation, it is my pleasure to announce that the recipient of this year's scholarship is David Bowers in the amount of $2,000. Again, congratulations to David Bowers and a special thank you to the Walter L. Shaw Music Scholarship. The next scholarship is the Wanda Mann Scholarship is awarded to a graduate or graduates of the Union City Junior Senior High School who have been involved in extracurricular activities at the high school and are involved in the community and plan to attend a four-year college. This year, the Community Foundation of Randolph County is awarding this scholarship to Grace Collins and Katie Reichard. These young ladies will each be receiving a $2,000 scholarship. Again, congratulations to Grace and Katie, and a special thank you to the Wanda Mann Scholarship. At this time, I would also like to introduce to you Melissa Alsberger as she prepares and presents the Delta Theta Tall Myrtle M. Ellsberger Memorial Scholarship. 
Hello, I'm Alyssa Adelsberger, and I am here representing Delta Theta Tau Sorority. Delta Theta Tau is giving two scholarships away. The first one is the Delta Theta Tau Lambda Chapter Scholarship in the amount of $500. And this year's recipient is Miss Emily O'Connor. Congratulations, Emily. The second scholarship this evening is the Myrtle M. Adelsberger Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $250. And this year's recipient is Mackenzie Green. Congratulations, Mackenzie and Emily, and we wish you the very best in your college endeavors. The Doris Mendenhall Scholarship Memorial sorry, is a scholarship that is awarded to a senior who is involved in sports, excels academically, exhibits citizenship, and is a Christian. This year, the Doris Mendenhall Memorial is awarded to Mackenzie Green in the amount of $500. Congratulations, Mackenzie. The Harry and June Loy Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Grace Collins. Congratulations, Grace. And the Rotary Scholarship will be presented this year by Mr. Paul Brumley. Hello, 2020 graduates. The Union City Rotary Club is part of Rotary International, a 1.2 million member worldwide organization dedicated to serving our communities, our nations, and the world. It is our pleasure to present the local Rotary Citizenship Scholarship of $1,000 to Heidi Livingston. Heidi has also won our local speech contest and a $50 award for her speech of Rotary Connects the World. Congratulations to her and all the 2020 Union City Junior Senior High School graduates, a year we all will never forget. Next up is the Tri Kappa Scholarship, and it's awarded to a senior based on academic achievement, participation in a variety of extracurricular activities, encompassing academics, music, dance, or art, charity, athletics, and volunteerism, and the ability to explain goals and career expectations. This year, we are pleased to announce that the Tri Kappa Scholarship in the amount of $700 is awarded to Morgan Weimer. Congratulations, Morgan, and thank you, Tri Kappa, for sponsoring this scholarship. The Bill and Mary Lou Falk Scholarship is given in memory of Bill and Mary Lou Falk annually to a graduating senior, senior pursuing a degree in the field of education. Both Bill and Mary Lou encourage young people to learn in all facets of their life. This scholarship was a means of continuing to help students enter the field of education so they too may nurture many more children and then pursue their dreams as well, just as Mary Lou nurtured many along her path. This year, they are pleased to award Ashley Klein, the recipient of the Bill and Mary Lou Falk Memorial Scholarship. We know that you will carry on the tradition of learning and teaching others to learn or you wouldn't have been chosen to receive this award. We are proud of you and know that your parents are smiling down and know that our parents are smiling down on you. Congratulations, Ashley Klein. The James Mormon Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating senior who exhibits citizenship, moral character, and will be attending a trade school, technical school, business school, or college or university. This year, the James M. Mormon Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Quentin Atkins. Again, congratulations to Quentin and a special thank you to the James Mormon Memorial Scholarship. Next, the American Legion Scholarship is awarding a scholarship in the amount of $500 to Paula Gallegos. Again, a special thank you to the American Legion Scholarship and congratulations to Paula. Next, the VFW Ron Moore Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Emily O'Connor. Again, congratulations to Emily and thank you to the VFW Ron Moore Memorial Scholarship. Next, the Randolph County Extension Homemaker Scholarship is awarding a scholarship in the amount of $750 to Katie Reichard. Again, a special thank you to the Randolph County Extension Homemaker Scholarship and congratulations to Katie. On behalf of the Harvest Land Co-op, I am pleased to announce that Katie Reichard has been awarded a $1,000 scholarship. Congratulations, Katie. 
Based on her application, she met all the eligibility, eligibility criteria and was selected from a group of 68 strong applicants. Harvest Land Co-op has a strong commitment to supporting the education and development of future leaders, and we're happy to extend this amount to Katie. So thank you again to the Harvest Land Co-op, and congratulations, Katie. Each year, the St. Vincent Randolph Hospital Auxiliary provides scholarships to students wishing to further their education in the healthcare field. Selection for this scholarship is based on an interest in a health career, scholastic excellence, high school leadership activities, participation in community and or church activities, and employment history. This year, the St. Vincent Randolph Hospital Auxiliary is pleased to announce that three, there are three scholarships in the amount of $1,000 apiece to be awarded to Mackenzie Green, Emily O'Connor, and Morgan Weimer. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you to the Randolph County Hospital Auxiliary. Continuing on, it's my privilege to award the John D. Wilson Scholarship. This is awarded annually to a graduating student here at Union City who displays honor, character, and academic achievement. This year's scholarship is awarded in the amount of $950 to the following seniors. Grace Collins, Paula Gallegos, Heidi Livingston, Maya Malloy, Katie Reichard, and Morgan Weimer. Congratulations to those seniors. The next scholarship is the Clyde and Sarah Wise Scholarship, and it's awarded to a senior who exhibits scholastic achievement, leadership, and is pursuing further their education. This year, the Clyde and Sarah Wise Scholarship is awarded to Quentin Atkins in the amount of $1,200. Congratulations, Quentin. The Edith Wynn Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating senior who exhibits scholastic achievement, leadership, and is pursuing further education. It is our pleasure to announce that the recipient of the Edith Wynn Scholarship in the amount of $1,500 is Emily O'Connor. And now we have a short video presentation from the Randolph Eastern Classroom Teachers Association. My name is Becky Keel and I serve as the Randolph Eastern Classroom Teachers Association president. It is my honor to award two scholarships this year to our graduates of 2020 going into education. This scholarship is $500 a year, renewable for four years. Our two recipients for the class of 2020 are Ashley Klein and Gracie Collins. Congratulations, ladies, and good luck in the future. Next. The Gloria Godfrey Larry Watson Scholarship is a four-year scholarship awarded to a graduating senior of the Randolph Eastern School Corporation who demonstrates strong academic ability, leadership, and citizenship, and who is pursuing a career in math, physics, chemistry, engineering, or some related field. This year, the Community Foundation is honored to present this scholarship in the amount of $10,000, which is $2,500 a year for four years to Braxton Wright. Again, congratulations to Braxton and a special thank you to the Gloria Godfrey Larry Watson Scholarship. Next, the Martha Goodman Scholarship is awarded annually to one senior who has shown scholastic achievement and in leadership during their high school career. This year, the Martha Goodman Scholarship is awarded to Maya Malloy in the amount of $5,600, which is $1,400 a year for four years. Congratulations to Maya and a special thank you to the Martha Goodman Scholarship. It is my privilege to announce the Claudia Wise Scholarship winner tonight. Claudia Beatrice Wise lived in Union City her entire life. She was born in 1911, attended Southside School, and graduated from Westside High School. Claudia sought knowledge and adventure throughout her entire life. In school, she was an honor student, participated in every sport available to females, and was involved in numerous clubs and organizations. She retired from Backstay Welt Company after 17 years and for 35 years owned and operated Wise's Paint Store in Union City. No one enjoyed life more than Claudia Wise. She felt the Lord had blessed her, and in turn, she delighted in helping others. When she died in 1995, she left over $250,000 to Randolph Eastern School Corporation for a scholarship fund. The interest in that investment is to be awarded each year to a senior with a high scholastic average 
who has demonstrated qualities of responsibility and, ed and extracurricular leadership. This year, the scholarship is in the amount of $3,000 per year for four years for a total of $12,000. The Randolph Eastern School Corporation Board of Finance appoints a committee of laypersons to select the recipient of this scholarship each year. After much deliberation, the scholarship committee recommended and the Board of Finance approved as the recipient of the $12,000 Claudia Wise Scholarship, Ms. Morgan Weimer. Congratulations, Morgan, and a special thank you to the Claudia Wise Scholarship. All right, class of 2020 here, uh, finishing up with some major scholarships. The first scholarship I have the privilege of uh, announcing this evening is the Claire Lynch Scholarship. Uh, when Miss Lynch passed away this past year in 2019, uh, she left a good amount of money to Randolph Eastern School Corporation to set up a scholarship fund for our seniors. Uh, it's not every day that you get a letter in the mail that's saying that uh, someone has donated or left nearly a million dollars to your school corporation, but that is the exact intent of Miss Lynch and her scholarship fund. Uh, the interest from the investment is to be awarded to a senior every year that shows high scholastic average and has demonstrated the qualities of responsibility and extracurricular leadership. This year, the scholarship is in the amount of $4,000 renewable for four years for a total of $16,000. It is with great pleasure that I recognize Ms. Grace Collins as the first re recipient of the Claire Lynch Scholarship. Congratu congratulations, Grace. The next scholarship I'm privileged to um, share with you this evening is from David Young. Uh, David Young is a friend of the Alumni Association and longtime friend of Union City. Uh, he did leave a note um, that I want to read to you. So this is from David Young. He says, I regret that in this difficult times that we are required to modify your graduation ceremony and that I cannot be here in person to present the David and Carol Young four-year scholarship. However, your school administration has went to great lengths to provide a wonderful experience for you. So please enjoy your achievement. Before the scholarship is awarded and announced, I would like to congratulate the entire Randolph Eastern School Corporation for being named one of the 24 Project Lead the Way dis distinguished di districts in the nation and the only one in the state of Indiana. The Project Lead the Way program allows pre-K through 12 students to develop in-demand knowledge and skills to both take from school for the rest of their lives on any career path they choose to take. Special congrats to the members of the graduating class that lead the way in this award. Carol and I are pleased to contribute in a small way to the excellence of this school system that has provided for to its in students since its inception. As for the Carol and David Young four-year scholarship, I'm pleased to announce that this scholarship in the amount of $5,000 re renewable for four years for a total of $20,000 goes to Katie Reichert, who in my understand is, is plans to attend my alma mater, Purdue University. Sincere congratulations, Katie. Next seniors, I get to uh, recognize the top 10 students uh, from your class. So at this time, I'm going to recon rec recognize those students uh, from the top 10. Your top 10 seniors are Derek Williams, Katie Reichert, Heidi Livingston, Grace Collins, Morgan Weimer, Maya Malloy, Evie Downey, Emily O'Connor, Mackenzie Green, and Tony Payne Abel. Congratulations to those seniors for being named to the top 10. The last award we get to hand out tonight is very important and very prestigious. It is the Perry Valedictorian Award named for Dr. Charles Donald Perry, a graduate of Union City High School in the class of 1925. At that time, he was a valedictorian of his own class, and he also received the Edward Rector Scholarship to DePaul University in Greencastle, Indiana. He graduated there with Phi Beta Kappa Honors with a bachelor's degree in 1929. He received his Master's of Arts from the University of Michigan and his PhD in Classical Languages from Northwestern Uni University. He served on faculty, 
faculties at Northwestern University, DePaul University, and was chairman and professor of classical languages for 28 years at the University of Alabama, Tuscaloosa. There, there his course, Mythology, was rated the most popular course on campus and enrolled 125 students from across the campus each semester. In 1956, he was first listed to who, the Who's Who in America. National President of the American Classical Society elected to Jason Men's Honorary and an Honorary men, Member of the Mortar Board. He received the Outstanding Educational TV Award from Atlanta for his course in mythology. He resided in Buffalo, New York, and his brother at this time, with his brother at the time of his death in 2001. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the Perry Valedictorian Award in the amount of $1,000 to Mr. Derek Williams. Congratulations, Derek. Now, Class of 2020, it's my great honor to close this scholarship event, even though this is not the setting that any of us had ever considered in our mind, and we would much rather be live with you sitting in front of us recognizing you, but uh, it goes without saying that and during these unprecedented times, uh, myself, your building administrators, and your teachers could not be more proud of the way you finished. And we want to thank you. We want to especially recognize and thank those that had a very good uh, response as far as scholarships go. And we wish you but nothing but the very best and always encourage you to look back and give back to Union City as you go along your way. Best of luck.